Cell phone usage in the state's largest school district is also a big topic. Springfield School Superintendent Granita Latham gave her annual State of the Schools message to more than 300 members of the Chamber of Commerce. Joe Hickman has that story. Springfield Public School Superintendent Granita Latham certainly had a unique start to her day as her State of the School speech included a promise she made at last year's event, where if the district's overall attendance rate was at least 92%, she would take a celebratory water cooler dousing like winning coaches do. So... This year, our overall district attendance was 91.78%. What would you like for me to do? Round it up, round it up. And sure enough, students from McGregor Elementary School did the honors. Mine, mine was, this is incredible. I got splashed. I cannot believe that Dr. Lathan went through with it. If she's willing to do that for our public schools, what are we willing to do as community members for our public schools? Lathan said the morning soaking was not as bad as the time she had an allergic reaction after letting students throw pies in her face when she was an elementary school principal in North Carolina. It just swell up and, you know, and the itching and everything. And when asked why high attendance was worth this sacrifice? It sets the foundation for students to be successful in life. Being on a job, you must report to work on time and you must be there so that you can be a productive member of any team that you're a part of. Lathan is also big on reading, and the district supplied the audience with books to give their children as part of a push to improve reading skills. Our goal is to increase our MAP scores by 2%. With growing momentum nationwide for outright bans on students' cell phones in schools, the topic has led to tense discussions at SPS Board of Education meetings. But as for right now... We do not allow cell phones in our elementary schools and then our middle school and high schools in the student handbook. It's a responsible use of those cell phones. We will be focused on mo more enforcement of our cell phone policy. Inevitably, as our students join the workforce, they will have cell phones. And so it's important to make sure that they know how to responsibly use those cell phones. Cell phones, social media, student uh, mental health issues, uh, they all play a part uh, in, in discipline and behavior issues. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.